I'll show you how to print vinyl on, this is an Epson SC T2 170. It's a 24 inch large format printer. Right now I just have paper loaded in here, printer paper, inkjet paper, just especially for test runs and anything like posters or something, just whatever you need, paper is good. I'm gonna switch it out for vinyl. What I'm probably gonna do though is run a test run of the, ban the banner on paper first because it's cheaper, make sure everything's how I want it then switch the vinyl in there and do the final. And eventually we'll put these metal grommets. I have all the artwork on the phone here and it's just connected with Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and print this. So we tested the size now, so we're gonna go ahead and swap out the paper for the we'll go through the settings here and switch out the paper. So we retracted the paper. I'm gonna hold the flap here, pull this out. We'll tape the paper to keep it from unraveling. Now we pull out the paper core, so this clear plastic piece comes off first, then the core comes out. Now we'll put the core back in, the vinyl, and the other side, and we'll put this in. Now that it's in, I'll just start feeding it. Let's get it over the rollers. And we'll go back into paper settings. You'll hear it beep, close that cover, and then change the paper type. I'm gonna change it to a premium glossy sheet since we're on vinyl, and okay. And it'll just pull the paper out and pull it back in a few times. The edge wasn't straight here on the front. This is the factory edge, it's not cut very straight. And that did cause an error whenever it fed through. It said that the paper was uh, skewed and you just hit the continue button and it cuts that front lip off and then that's gonna be a really nice factory edge and then it just works better with it. When you're printing, in my case, I'm just printing from my phone here, you have to change the paper size from an ISO A4 to something like a Arch D and that's 24 inches by I think 46 inches is the size and then we'll go ahead and print. There we go, cut that off and we'll tap in these little metal grommets. Those are on there and they look really nice. 